Hello, welcome. So in this video, I am going to explain you about the connection rules in Oracle integration. So as we know that we have three types of connection in integration, that is role trigger connection, invoke connection and trigger and invoke connection. So in this video, I am going to explain you the basic differences, all the differences between all three types of connection. So friend, before going to a start, I request you to, if you have not subscribed this channel yet, please subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video. So one, I will explain you all these differences between all this integration, all this connection. I will go to the OIC integration page and I will show you the, the connection. So as you can see that I have already created the three connection. So I will explain you about all these three connections while adding this connection in integration. So before going to start, let me explain you about the differences between all these three types of connection. So here first we will talk about the trigger connection. So trigger connection is also known as source connection. So why we are using this trigger connection? So this trigger connection is used to send the request to Oracle integration. If you want to send the request to the Oracle integration, we should use, we have to use that trigger connection. It is used to send a request to OIC. It is used to initiate the integration. So suppose we have created the integration, but we have any endpoint. We have a start endpoint that will initiate the integration. So for that endpoint, we will use trigger connection. Trigger from name, it's clear that triggering the integration, trigger point of that integration. So if we want to configure the request and response payload for that integration, we require trigger endpoint over there. With the help of trigger endpoint, we can configure the request and response payload for that integration. So suppose we are going to create app driven integration and we require when we run this integration, we require some request from user while running this integration and we require some response from the integration. Then we need the endpoint. We need endpoint to configure the request and the response. So that endpoint will be trigger type connection. We can use, we can add a trigger we can add trigger connection only once in integration so why how why we are we can use only once that trigger connection in integration because trigger connection is used to initiate the integration right so we cannot initiate our integration many times that's why we can use the trigger connection only once in integration and that will be the initial part initiation part a start end point of that integration so trigger endpoint will always be a start endpoint of the connection. Remember, a start endpoint of the integration. So trigger connection can't be used in schedule integration. It can be used in app driven integration. So why we cannot use the trigger connection in schedule integration? I will explain in, I will show you in the integration page. And here, let me explain why we cannot use the trigger endpoint in schedule integration. So friend, the basic reason, when we create schedule integration, it's by default started with the endpoint that is schedule endpoint. You can see whenever we will create any schedule, schedule integration, we will have default start and endpoint and endpoint and start endpoint will be the schedule endpoint. But while creating the app driven, we don't have that any endpoint. Here you can see in the picture. Here, we don't have any value in a start and end point of that app driven integration. So here we just drag that trigger connection and we will use this trigger connection to start the integration to the start end point of this integration. But in schedule integration, we have default that schedule end point to start the integration to initiate the integration. That's why we cannot use the schedule uh, use trigger connection in schedule integration. Next, we have invoke connection. If we are creating the invoke type connection, it means that we are going to invoke any other web services from our integration. So it is used to send request to OIC, request from OIC integration to the target web services. So while creating the invoke type of connection, we require to pass the web services URL. It's mandatory because without passing the URL of that web services, we cannot create the invoke type connection. So it is mandatory to pass the web services to the invoke type connection. So invoke type connection is used to call the other web services from OIC integration. 
and we can add multiple connection we can add multiple invoke connection in our integration so here you can see the in the picture when we try to drag this invoke connection we have multiple plus icon it means that we can drag we can add this endpoint in here there and in all the places where we want but remember we cannot add the invoke endpoint in initiating part of the integration in a starting of the integration the invoke connection will be used always in and or between our integration invoke connection cannot be used as a trigger connection remember and while creating the creating the invoke connection we require to pass the web services url invoke connection can be used in app driven integration or schedule integration both so here as in a screen you can see that this is the uh, schedule integration and in schedule integration we can easily use invoke connection but invoke connection we also can use in app driven integration but in schedule integration we cannot use trigger connection in previous slide i have explained you why we cannot use the trigger connection in our schedule integration so here if you will see this is a schedule integration and when we are creating any integration as a schedule we got by default this two endpoint this is schedule endpoint and this is the endpoint so this using this schedule endpoint we are going to initiate the integration this is going to initiate start the integration that's why we don't require any trigger endpoint over here and in last we have trigger and invoke type of in connection so it is nothing it is a very simple connection it is a combination of trigger and invoke both connection so we can use when we create trigger connection we can use this trigger connection in trigger and invoke connection in app driven orchestration and schedule orchestration if we create any any connection as a trigger and invoke we can use this connection to initiate the integration to call the any other web services we can use this integration in both ways so that's why if sometimes we require any connection that can be used in initiating of the integration that can be used in anywhere in the integration to call other web services we create that connection as a trigger and invoke connection so now let's go to the integration page and let me explain you all this integration type so here if you will see in my integration i have in this oic i have created three connection and all these three connection have different types so here you can see that the first integration is the type of trigger and invoke another one is that invoke connection and the last one is that rest connection you can see that rest trigger connection so as i so i explain you earlier this rest trigger connection this trigger connection cannot be used in app in schedule integration so let me prove this we cannot use this trigger connection in schedule integration so here i have given the name as xxz rest trigger connection let me go to the integration and here you can see we have schedule integration so i will just edit this integration and i will show you we don't find that trigger connection to add here add in app driven in schedule integration so here in go go to here and here if you will see rest we don't have we don't have the trigger connection here you can say that we have xxz rest trigger and invoke xxz a rest invoke but we don't have xxz a rest trigger connection as i show you i created trigger connection but we don't have because we cannot add trigger connection over here but i show you that i told you explain you that we can add the trigger and invoke connection anywhere and any in any connection so here you can see that we have this schedule integration and here we have xx said a rest trigger and invoke connection so we can add trigger and invoke connection in schedule integration and app driven integration both and also i explain you that we have suppose we have this rest invoke connection we can add multiple times this invoke connection in our integration so suppose here i am going to add this connection here invoke connection over here so suppose let me give any name right a start anything next give the name next done here we have added connection over here you can see that here we have added the rest endpoint we can add another rest point a uh, rest endpoint in this connection here you can see the support list i want to add here we can add but trigger connection we cannot use multiple times now let me go and cancel this card so here let me create one app driven integration and i will show you that 
so here suppose i am going to create on click on the create button here i am going to create app driven just select give the name test app driven and can click on create so here you can see that when we are creating the trigger type uh, cre creating the app driven integration we don't have any endpoint over here so here if you will see we cannot use here you can see that we have that connection trigger connection we have a trigger invoke connection but we don't have that uh, invoke connection over here we cannot use invoke connection as a initiate as the starting point of the connection i explain you for a starting the integration for adding the start endpoint we can use only trigger connection or trigger and invoke both connection we cannot use simple that invoke connection over here even you can say you don't have that connection over here listed so that you can add here you have only trigger or trigger and invoke connection here so here we have trigger connection if you will add that this will be added over here and this will be the start end point of the connection suppose give me the any name here let me give a start anything because i don't want to create integration i am just here creating for showing purpose here you can see that and now if you will see now we will get the invoke connection here so here if you will see now we have invoke type connection here so in invoke connection can be used only between the integration not in a shared part of the integration so here you can see that we have xxzd rest invoke connection here now we can add that invoke endpoint over here so guys this is the basic explanation this is the basic explanation all the differences between the connection role connection in the integration so friend if you like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video if you will give me a pleasure to create such kind of videos again and again thank you so much for watching